Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the computation of effects for three-level factorial design. So we will take a special case of three-level factorial design, three raised to two factorial design, and compute the effect for this design. So let us see this example. It is about an experiment in which we have nitrogen and phosphate as two different kind of fertilizers, each set at three levels. The three levels of nitrogen are N0, N1, and N2, and three levels of phosphates are P0, P1, and P2. The data is the number of seeds that germinated, and the data which is actually produced here is totaled over 12 plots. That is, the experiment was replicated 12 times. The data that we see here is sum of all the observations at the respective treatment combination. For example, 449 is sum of all the observations made at the treatment combination when nitrogen level was low and phosphate level was also low. 58 is sum of all the observations when nitrogen level was at intermediate level and phosphate level was at intermediate level 2. Let us compute the effect for this 3 raised to 2 factorial design for given data. So first we will compute the linear effect of nitrogen at all possible levels of the phosphate and the coefficients that we will be using is minus 1, 0 and 1. The levels of phosphate are denoted by P0, P1 and P2. The linear effect of nitrogen at low level of phosphate will be the observation at high level of nitrogen minus the observation at low level of nitrogen which is 326 minus 449 this is equal to minus 123 similarly the linear effect of nitrogen at intermediate level of phosphate is 291 minus 409 which is equal to minus 180 and the linear effect of nitrogen at high level of phosphate is 312 minus 341 which is equal to minus 29 similarly we can compute the quadratic effect of nitrogen at all the three levels of phosphate and the coefficients that we will use to compute these effects are 1 minus 2 and 1 that is we will be multiplying these coefficients with the observations made at the three levels of nitrogen for each level of phosphate. So the quadratic effect of nitrogen at low level of phosphate will be 449 minus 2 times 413 plus 326. So we can write this 449 minus 2 times 413 plus 326 which is equal to minus 51. Similarly, the quadratic effect of nitrogen at intermediate level of phosphorus will be 409 minus 2 times 358 plus 291, which is equal to minus 16, one can verify. And the quadratic effect of nitrogen at high level of phosphate will be 341 minus 2 times 278 plus 312, which is equal to 97. Now, if we add all these effects that is the linear effects added together and quadratic effect of nitrogen added together then we get the actual linear effect of nitrogen so minus 123 added with minus 118 plus minus 29 gives us the linear effect of nitrogen we write as nl equal to minus 270 Similarly, if all these effects, quadratic effects, are added together, we find the quadratic effect of nitrogen and we write it as NQ is equal to 30. Similarly, we find the linear and quadratic effect of phosphorus at three levels of nitrogen. The three levels of nitrogen we write as N0, N1 and N2 and in the very similar fashion, we will be first computing the linear effect of phosphate using the coefficients minus 1, 0 and 1. So the linear effect of phosphate at low level of nitrogen will be 
the observation at high level of phosphate minus the observation at low level of phosphate which is 341 minus 449 this is equal to minus 108 similarly we will be finding the linear effect of phosphate at all the three levels of nitrogen so at intermediate level of nitrogen the linear effect of phosphate is 278 minus 413 which is equal to minus 135 and the linear effect of phosphate at high level of nitrogen is 312 minus 326 which is equal to minus 40. Now we compute the quadratic effect of phosphate using the coefficients 1 minus 2 and 1 at all the three level of nitrogen. So low level of nitrogen the quadratic effect of phosphate will be 449 minus 2 times 409 plus 341 which is equal to minus 28 similarly at intermediate level of nitrogen 413 minus 2 times 358 plus 278 so we get minus 25 and at high level of nitrogen the quadratic effect of phosphate is 326 minus 2 times 291 plus 312 which is equal to 56. Now we add these quadratic effects together and similarly the linear effects together to get the linear effect of phosphate as minus 108 plus minus 135 minus 14 which is minus 257 and the quadratic effect of phosphate as minus 28 plus minus 25 plus 56 which is equal to 3. Now we will discuss the computation of interactions. Now these are the linear effects of nitrogen at three levels of phosphate. Now if we utilize this linear effect of nitrogen to compute the linear effect of phosphate we will get the interaction component NLPL that is NLPL we can find as the linear effect of nitrogen at high level of phosphate minus 29 minus the linear effect of nitrogen at low level of phosphate which is minus 123 this is equal to 94 similarly if we compute the quadratic effect of phosphate using the three linear effects of nitrogen we will get the interaction component NLPQ so this will be equal to minus 123 minus 2 times minus 118 plus minus 29 and this is equal to 84 so similarly we will be finding the linear effect of phosphate using the computed quadratic effect of nitrogen so these are the quadratic effect of nitrogen minus 51 minus 16 and 97 97 is quadratic effect at high level of phosphate and minus 51 is quadratic effect of nitrogen at low level of phosphate so 97 minus 51 gives us 148 similarly the interaction component nqpq can be found as minus 51 minus 2 times minus 16 plus 97 which is equal to 78 hence we have found the four interaction components of the interaction between nitrogen and phosphate we can verify this interaction by computing the linear and quadratic effect of nitrogen using the linear and quadratic effects of phosphate computed in the right side of the table. Now we compute the linear effect of nitrogen using the linear effect of phosphate which will be minus 14 minus minus 108 which will be equal to 94. Similarly the quadratic effect of nitrogen using the linear effect of phosphates will be minus 108 minus 2 times minus 135 minus 14 which is equal to 
148 the linear effect of nitrogen using the quadratic effects of phosphate which is equal to 56 minus minus 28 which is equal to 84 and the quadratic effect of nitrogen using the quadratic effect of phosphate is equal to minus 28 minus 2 times minus 25 plus 56 which is equal to 78 so we have got the four interaction components of nitrogen and phosphate one can observe that the interaction components computed from the two tables are same